going on guys? Alex is here back again, and I'm going to make this a straightforward video, no editing whatsoever, and I'm going to be talking about the Brony fandom. Now, first things first, <clears throat> I used to view uh, people who watch My Little Pony as just extremely, extremely annoying, extremely obnoxious, and just straight out moronic, but eventually I gave it a chance, I came in the the television series, My Little Pony, with an open mind, and I said, okay, I'm gonna watch one full entire episode of My Little Pony and see if it's any good and see if it's bad, as some people would say, even though they probably even have, haven't even given it a chance or they haven't looked into it whatsoever. They just make the assumption that it's horrible, and which it's not. I actually really like the series. It's, you know, it has great animation, great voice acting, and it has a lot of new interesting ideas and concepts that <clears throat> are really well made and developed. Now, I can understand why people don't like bronies in general, especially on the internet, for one. I mean, I, even though I love the show, just the brony fandom, it's not a very good one. It's, it's just one of those things that I don't think that... It just shouldn't exist. It's just, I cringe whenever I see people who are so obsessed with the fandom or the show or whatever else that they'll get completely, you know, butthurt over the smallest things or if someone disagrees with them over the show, oh, I don't like the show. What? You don't like the show? Whatever, you know, it's it's just all drama. It's just, it's stupid. It really is stupid. And for those of people, this is all coming from an unbiased view because I used to think that Model Pony was stupid. Ba solely based off of the fact that I saw, you know, the Brony fandom and how ridiculous that, how ridiculous they were. Sorry, kind of slow today. I just woke up a couple hours ago. Still not getting in the groove. It's been a while since I made these videos. Um, but yeah, it's a great show. It has a lot of good character development. Um, you know, if you grew up with the Powerpuff Girls, it's um, Lauren Frost, Frost, whatever. <laughs> And Tara Strong, they're highly involved with the show. You know, I'd highly recommend it to anyone who grew up watching the Powerpuff Girls. I know it might sound kind of pitiful if I say that, but you know, whatever. I like it. I grew up with it. It was a fun show. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Just give things a chance, guys. You shouldn't dismiss it right away as something that's just... trying to think of an appropriate word or term to use here. Just just have an open mind. Just give things a chance regardless of what you see is associated the people that you see that are associated with that subject or show or music or genre, whatever. And that's pretty much all I have to say for today. Uh, see you guys later.